Mac OS Sequoia is out and Apple has outdone themselves once again because they have introduced some supercharged features and settings in Mac OS Sequoia which you need to use right now to enhance your Mac experience. On this note, this is me Sameer, you guys are watching IE's blog and without wasting any time, let's start today's video. So let's start with our first feature and that is now you can use your iPhone on your Mac. How you ask me? Using iPhone mirroring and not only this with the release of Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 now it supports drag and drop of files as well. So no more tedious cable transfer or complicated syncing process. Simply drag your files from one device to another and they'll transfer seamlessly. So that was all about sharing files between your Mac and iPhone using iPhone mirroring. But the gist is you can use your iPhone without touching your iPhone on your Mac and no need to just uh, divert your mind. Stay focused using your Mac. So moving forward, second on our list is window tiling. Mac OS Sequoia introduces a new feature called window tiling, a boon for those who juggle between multiple windows. By simply dragging a window to the edge of the screen, the Mac OS intelligently suggests tiled position, making it easy to arrange windows side by side. So if you have used windows recently, you might have noticed Windows Snap. This feature works exactly like that. And it is needless to say that it will enhance your productivity and streamline your work process. So before moving to our next feature, I would like to tell you one thing that with the release of Mac OS Sequoia 15.1, now you can use Apple intelligence on your MacBook running, of course, M series of processor. But the first feature on my list of Apple intelligence is writing tools. Elevate your writing game with Apple intelligence. These powerful tools help you to write more efficiently by suggesting improvements to your grammar, style and clarity. You can generate text, you can summarize text and you can also rewrite, proofread them with the help of Apple Intelligence's writing tools. So this particular set of features are must for all those who are in creative fields. So now that we are talking about Apple Intelligence's tools, how could we forget enhanced Siri? Siri is smarter than ever. With improved natural language processing, Siri can better understand your request and provide more accurate and helpful responses. You can even type your request to Siri, making it more convenient than ever. So now you get a better, faster and of course overhaul Siri for better personal assistance. So now with the introduction of Apple intelligence, the mail app itself got supercharged because now it supports summarizing your mails as well as smart replies. These features automatically suggest quick replies to the mail and messages and provide concise summaries of incoming mail, saving you time and efforts. Okay, so next on our list is Photos Cleanup Tool. Keep your photo library clutter free with the new Photos Cleanup Tool. This intelligent tool can automatically identify and remove unwanted objects from your photos, ensuring your images aka photos looks the best. Moving forward, now you get transcription summaries in your notes app. Capture and organize your audio recordings with ease. The transcription summaries feature in notes app automatically generate transcripts, summaries of your recordings, making it easier to review and reference important information. So if you're a student, this feature will do wonders because now you can record your lectures, get those important uh, specific summaries out of it and share it with your friends who didn't come to the college. So if you're someone who gets distracted a lot while working on your Mac, well, my friend, focus mode just got improved with intelligent breakthrough and silencing. The new intelligent breakthrough and silencing feature allows you to prioritize important notifications while muting less critical ones, ensuring you are never interrupted at the wrong time. So next on my list is Safari upgrades. Well, with the release of Mac OS Sequoia 15.1, Apple gave a lot more new features to Safari. Two of them are my favorites. First, hide distracting items. This smart feature helps you to hide unwanted stuff from the websites. It could be those annoying ads or those stubborn embedded videos which get autoplayed anytime. Second, Safari got a new improved overhauled reader as well and that also summarizes the article. Dive deeper into your reading with this new reader, enjoy a clutter-free view of articles, 
complete with summaries and tables of content for longer pieces. Well, Apple didn't only add in new features but also removed some older one as well. Now, the keychain section is gone from macOS Sequoia, but, 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 Apple introduced a brand new passwords app. It is a significant upgrade from the old traditional keychain. This centralized platform allows you to securely store and access all your passwords, including Wi-Fi credentials, pass keys, and verification codes. This app ensures that all your credentials are seamlessly synced between all your Apple devices. Well, not only Apple devices, this password app also supports Windows with the help of iCloud app for Windows. For added security, all your sensitive data is protected with end-to-end -end encryption. So these were my favorite features of macOS Sequoia. How did you find them? Which one did you find the most useful and interesting? Do let me know in the comment section. And if this video helped you out, then make sure to press the like button and let YouTube know that we are doing some good work. And while you are down there, make sure you subscribe to iGeeks blog and press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post about everything Apple. And in meanwhile, you can go to the App Store, download iGeeks blog app, enjoy everything Apple content and of course amazing wallpapers I can vouch for. On this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada. See ya. Bye-bye.